Alrighty YouTube, how you guys doing? In this video I'll be going over iOS 4.2 which of course won't be released till November I managed to get my hand on one of the thanks to one of you guys on Twitter and I'll include the Twitter name of the developer who managed to pass this over very kind of him and I've been messing about with it and so far so good I'm loving it there are one or two things which I am slightly peed off about let's just say it that and hopefully I'll share them with you now you're probably wondering, well, what is in iOS 4.2? Why should I download this free update when it comes available in November? Now it's got some of the features that the iPhone recently got. Uh, multitasking is one of them, so if you hit the home button twice, you'll get this nice little pane down here, which is very nice. They've also done something else, which I kind of like, is the brightness levels. So you can change the brightness levels within this pane here. You don't need to go into settings and so on great they've also got the orientation lock within here similar to what they have done with the iphone 4 and the 3gs and the ipod touch however the ipad was unique and i liked how the orientation lock to work on this because they had a manual switch on here now what they've done in this firmware update is they've sort of messed a bit with this so now if you try to push this button it's not going to lock your screen it's going to put it to mute it's going to let me just show you so watch on the screen so that's on loud now, and this is now on silent. I don't like that. Uh, I'd rather have this as an orientation lock. I wish they gave you the option in the settings pane, uh, and I hope by the final release, of course this is the beta, so come the final release, there might be a few changes, they might go back on the decision, and I hope they do, because I don't like that mute thing, even though it's a nice option, but I would rather have orientation lock on it. Talking about orientation, I've also noticed something else, and maybe you guys can correct me, but I have just, just noticed this in this iOS 4.2 update. Now, normally if you wanted to sort of change the orientation of the screen, you would turn the iPad around. But now they've added a button at the top here, so if you just hit that, you can change the orientation as you go along, which I think is pretty cool. I'm positive that I haven't seen this before in any other iOS update, so I'm thinking this is a new addition, and uh, definitely great. It's making it easier for me, I don't have to physically change the iPad around to sort of suit my need and uh, yeah, I think it's it's nice, I think that's why they possibly took away the button feature here um, but God knows why, but you know, what do you guys think? But overall, I, I really like this um, brightness ability to change your brightness because, you know, the iPad to me is more of a consumption device, you're reading a lot of books, newspapers, websites and sometimes you know you're in different situations where you want that brightness level to be down and instead of going into settings and going into the brightness pane why not just have this built in which is great you know leave your comments as to you know what you feel or what you think about this one of the other things Apple has added in 4.2 for the iPad is folder support and yes we needed this Apple has given it to us finally and it's very simple and most of you probably already know this all your apps in one folder so it works very very similarly to the iPhone and iPod touch you just drag it over to an app and so on it you know very fairly straightforward we have it now uh, superb a bit late but hey and now the third thing they've added is game center most of you know Game Center came onto the iPhone and iPod Touch uh, devices as of recent. By recent, I mean the past week or two. And uh, yeah, hey, 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 if you haven't already added me on Game Center, then Eyeglass Region is my username. And so far, I've got a lot of friends and absolutely zero games or two games. Uh, still waiting for those games to really come in so I can really play with you guys rather than just share my scores. Uh, I know some of you guys like that, but hey, I'd rather play with you guys and to sort of share my achievements and so on. But, but you know, looking forward to when Game Center really polishes up. You know, guys, leave your comments as to what you want to see in Game Center. Do you think it's lacking in something? Me being absolutely uh, zero or not that much knowledgeable in the gaming area, I think until, you know, the games start rolling into the center, the ability to play with other people I think it's really going to kick off then but for the moment it's really just there the word on the street <laughs> the word on the street the rumour is that uh, per account you can only add 500 friends on one account which is kind of lame I guess I mean I've got 171 and obviously all the big guys um, especially all the big YouTubers and so on they're obviously going to have more than 500 which is a bit of a shame uh, you know I do feel that Apple really need to increase that number but at least you know a thousand, two thousand minimum, uh, but going to be very interesting to see what Apple do with Game Center uh, in the up upcoming months. So this next feature is very exciting and it's something that I've been waiting for for quite a bit and a lot of people who have also printing this new feature has been called AirPrint. 
Apple reinvents printing. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. This is a pages document I created and sort of emailed myself. So now all I would do is print and I would select printer and it doesn't pick up a printer despite having an Epson SX515W. Um, all the Wi-Fi settings on this are correct but this doesn't pick it up. And now the word uh, is that you have to have 10.6.5 beta. A lot of Mac developers are saying in order to get your printer found on the network, on the iPad, you have to have this new beta for your Mac. Um, now because this is a beta as well and you know they're still working on it, by the final release hopefully that will be ironed out. But uh, I am liking this printer feature and uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this. Very easy, very simple, uh, it's gladly welcomed. But hey, uh, you know. And while I'm on this, the next feature is um, the ability to open third party apps from uh, your mail app, which is good. So let's go into here. Now, this is a pages document I created uh, in, on my Mac and emailed it to myself. So now, if I want to open it in mail, I would go open in, and it'll give me the options. Pages and Goodreader are the two applications that I've got installed on the iPad. Now, previously, it would only give me one. Uh, and I believe it would just be pages. So now it's good, it's giving you options and it's giving you more customization per se. But yeah, guys, what do you think about these? Are these features something that you are really attracted towards? Um, it's definitely welcomed and it's going to be very handy. I've had a lot of people you know, ask me questions, you know, how do I open Word documents and so on. 4.2 will be your baby, let's just say. Guys, apart from that, there's only tiny adjustments they've made to, for example, Safari. They've made it easier for you to uh, read large websites or large text areas and copy and paste and so on. They've also added a similar application to AirPrint. It's called AirPlay, and that allows you to sort of transmit video from your iPad over to your TV with the new Apple TV, of course. The new Apple TV coming in the next few days or a week or two. That's going to be very interesting. That app isn't available as of yet. Uh, you can also stream music to other your Airport Express, other AirPlay um, enabled devices, which is going to be interesting to see how that works. They've also made changes to the mail application. So now you've got unified inboxes. You've got five or six email accounts on your mail application. Uh, you can have them so it's navigatable easily. Is that such a term? Or I just made that up. And you've also got threading now. So Oh, from the one person, it just threads them all together. Again, making it easy for yourself. I mean, they've also added enterprise, um, you know, enhancements as well. Overall, fantastic update. Um, should some of these features have been here on the iPad earlier? Yes, of course, it's been out for, what, three or four months anyway. Printing and so on. Very welcome. What do you guys think? Have some of you, are you, are you guys developers? Have you had your hands on it? What do you think? If you are thinking of getting the beta, uh, I would you know, urge you to kind of hold on to beta 2 or beta 3. The application does sometimes crash uh, simply because obviously developers are still testing it out. Most, if not every single app on the App Store is not iOS 4.2 compatible so it's probably going to crash like I have found out. Although they do work sometimes but you do get them crashing back to their home screen which is not a good sign. But overall, come November 4.2 official update go and get it, it's free anyway and you are going to love it. But guys, that's it. Remember, you can join me in iGlassWegion.com, twitter.com slash i6glassWegion. If you can hit the subscribe button up here, you sir would be amazing. Uh, but guys, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.